What's up everybody, D'Angelo here, and this video is going to be like some updates on DeVore, you know, just some tips and how much money you should invest, well, how much money I invest and stuff like that, and you can base that off your own thing, right? So just a quick update over for BitHunger, so this is a really important update. Always, like I said, guys, always make sure you click this button right here and make sure you check out the blog. So if you're on the 10 to, 30, to, 10 to $50 packages, then you click sign up right here. And uh, when you sign into the new Bit Hunger site with the same information from the old website, the way I had all the problems, which is now on this address right here. And then uh, they'll add a slot to your account. And then whenever someone signs up on that package, they'll get added to you and you don't have to make a payment and you'll just receive a payment. There you go. Now, over here for DeVore, right? So a lot of people are like scared of investing in DeVore. They're scared, you know, because we have a Bit Connect. And, you know, I don't know, maybe it's because I came from uh cpa well i do cpa still and stuff but you know i'm in cpa before i got into this so i understand that there's like risk involved like so spending thousands of dollars and stuff like that you know i would think that a lot of crypto people you know would like just be perfectly okay like i would think that they just are able to move on i mean when chain group went down there were people who were like oh it's gonna come back it's gonna come back you know and stuff for like a week or two you know i mean you would think like once this stuff happens like i mean oh okay it's over done move on. Like there are people talking about suing people. There are people talking about, you know, how they invested in entire, their mortgage and shit. Like what? Like that is so stupid guys. Rule number one, never invest money that you cannot afford to lose. Do not go and get loans and stuff like that. That is so stupid, right? If you're going to go get a loan, you invest in something that you can control. Like if I had to go get a loan, I would not invest in divorce. Like if I had like to go get a loan or whatever, and like, I didn't have any money, I would not invest in divorce. Like that, that's just stupid to me because you have no idea whether or not they're going to be here tomorrow. They could be gone literally after I'm done making this video. You don't know. So that's one thing you never do is invest in something that you cannot control. Now, CPA, drop shipping, Facebook ads, you know, your stuff like that. Those three alone can make you six figures a year. Right. And you can start that off with like a thousand dollars and, you know, you can build and test and stuff like that. A lot of people don't want to put in that work, though, and it's not going to be easy. I'm not going to lie to you. You're not going to find that winning campaign right out the gate. You know, you might try this ad. This doesn't work. You might try this offer. This one doesn't work. You might try this. This doesn't work. This doesn't work. This doesn't work. And that's how I look at these platforms. All right. We try Big Connect. You know, it worked for a lot of people. A lot of people made millions of dollars, but also a lot of people lost millions of dollars, you know, gone. Just like that. Nothing we can do about it. Right. Chain group gone. Just like that. Nothing we can do about it. Bipity gone. Just like that. Nothing we can do about it. So at the end of the day, guys, you just got to keep moving. Like you can't be stuck. You know, like I mean, like I said, it sucks that we lost money. Right. I lost six grand with that. You know, I already made the money back that I lost with that. The money I gave to that mad dude or whatever, he refused to give it back. I already made my money back with that as well. I mean, I can't be, you know, that person that bitches about something and then does nothing about it. You know, like you can complain. But if you want to complain about what happened with Bit Hunger every single day for the next year, do it. As long as you make your money back, right? You know, get your money, guys. Okay. You know, that's like I said, you got to get your money back and don't be scared. Like, don't follow these fud people like I, I see one dude he just like oh I, I'm, I'm done i give up on all uh, lending platforms and all this stuff like i mean like i said i don't know maybe it's because maybe i haven't been scammed enough right i don't know like personally i'm gonna keep going like that's just the way that i do we're testing i look at it as testing all right we found out that bit hunger doesn't work i mean uh Big Connect doesn't work. Big Hunger does work. Uh, we found out that, you know, Chain Group didn't work. We found out that, um, you know, a lot of other places just didn't work. You just find out what doesn't work. And then the ones that do work, you get your money back, right? So I've already got about half my money back from my uh, investment with them right here. So I had, uh, invest, you know, I got $10,000 invested in here. And we're getting 100 bucks back every single day, you know, on average or higher than that on average. But, you know, I like to just keep it conservative because... That's just the way I like to do things. And then, uh, so we got $3,000 right here that we've gotten back from the lending. And well, I can't really pull the staking up or whatever. Just do staking. All right. So then um, 
the coins I had staking and stuff like that, I probably got anywhere from like fifteen hundred to two thousand dollars back from buying ones that I had staking and stuff, and then just buying the coin and then just letting it just sit, and then you know when the price went up, it's like however, like it was like one fifty, then I sold there and stuff like that, and you know made like a couple, like made a couple of dollars on each coin and stuff, and just kept doing that. So on average, I probably made you know like about a good six thousand or something like that, six seven thousand. But let's just say conservative again. Let's say I only made five thousand dollars back so far. So I've got half my money back, you know, guaranteed. That's like guaranteed. I made half my money back, and within the next two months here, I'll be a hundred percent in the green. And so far, I've been getting at least $100 every single day. Like every single day, you know, whenever I wake up in the morning, there is like a, at least $100, or at least 90 something dollars every day in this account right here, you know, when I wake up in the morning. So I can't complain. Again, you know, I've already made my money back. Like I said, you got to diversify, guys. You can't just put money in, in one basket. You can't spend money that you don't have. That's the number one rule. Well, you know, number two, whatever you want to call it. You know, it's an important rule. Let's just say that. Don't spend money you don't have. If you're going to take out a loan, don't invest in something like Devor. Don't go and put it in stocks. Don't go and do anything, you know, like that because you can't control it. Now, what you would, if you go out and get a loan to start your business or whatever, one, especially if it's online, you don't need any any more than like, let's say a thousand dollars, right? If you lose a thousand dollars, you're perfectly good to go. You know, even if you have a seven twenty five an hour job, you can pay that back. Um, so you start your CPA or your drop shipping or whatever it may be or whatever. I always recommend CPA because you don't have to work, do any sales. Um, you can just get people to put in their email and you or whatever. And you'll just get a commission for that, which isn't bad at all. But you just got to let these, um, you just, I don't know, like I said, guys, don't follow people who are, oh, I'm never going to join any other lending platform again. Like, why? I mean, one burnt out. There's a lot of other ones that burnt out as well. You know, Big Connect was sweet. You know, people made money. I was getting paid from it every single day that I received all my investment back. No. You know, I think it said I made a, I had a total of like 1500 bucks that I got back or whatever. But I was reinvesting in the beginning and I wasn't taking out every single day. I think I was taking out every day for like like three weeks or something like that, you know. I don't know how to look at the videos, but you know, something around there. So I was getting my money back from them every day. And so at the end of the day, guys, don't follow those types of people because they're just, you know, they're filling your head with nonsense, right? Again, I'm not filling you with false hope or anything like that, but I'm telling you straight up, like this is the game that we play. If you cannot play, if you can't risk this, if you can't handle it, then just get out. Like I'm not going to be one of those people again that's going to tell you exactly what you want to hear. I'm not going to be one of those people that tell you everything's going to be okay and, and this and that. Like, guys, if you don't, if you can't handle the pressure of this type of stuff, then just get out. Don't do it. Like, I mean, it's literally just that simple. If you think it's a scam, don't do it. If you think DeVore is going to do the same thing that um, BitConnect did, don't join it. Take out, if you got a loan in here, take out every day. Like there isn't someone forcing you saying, yeah, you you need to do this. Like you have a choice to invest in these platforms. You have a choice to withdraw every day. You have a choice. So at the end of the day, you can't blame anybody. Like I'm not, if, if this goes down tomorrow, I'm not going to blame my sponsor for losing my, for me losing $5,000. That would be stupid as shit. I'm like, what, what? I didn't, he didn't tell me to go join. He made a video. I saw the video. I was like, okay, that looks like something I can like I can do. And then I went and did it. That was it. But you know, that's pretty much it, guys. You know, um, I know it's a little tough in this video, but you really need to like just buckle down when it comes to this stuff. That's pretty much it. Don't forget to go do that stuff with your BitHunger account if you had the fifty dollar ten to fifty dollar package, you know, and if you were on a ten dollar package, you just made five extra money instantly. Just saying. That's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.